First, rough sleeping is reaching crisis point. That's according to the head of the East Midlands' largest homelessness service. Framework says the number of vulnerable people on the streets of Nottingham has more than doubled since the end of last year and it's blaming government cuts to housing services and welfare payments. Well, our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball joined one of their outreach teams. Five in the morning, it's been raining all night and Lee's wide awake. Everything's wet through, look, soaking. Lee's trying to get rehoused after he was attacked and he's too scared to go home. So for now, he's camping out near Nottingham Railway Station. I'm cold, I'm hungry. It's scary being out here at night, do you know what I mean? Very scary. It's horrible, it's terrifying. Terrifying, do you know what I mean? But I can't go home, because I'll just get beat up if I go home. Sam's from the outreach team that helps rough sleepers like Lee every night. Many have serious mental health problems, and most of them are desperate. I can't handle this life no more. Coldness, wetness, the hungerness, everything. It's not one good thing about it. And you'd be amazed where they find people sleeping rough. Places like this rubbish store and hidden in this heating vent. This man was sleeping in a car park stairwell. Hello. And some people come to Nottingham from surrounding towns and cities. Others are foreign workers who've lost their jobs and can't get benefits. The difficulty we're having now is that the exit for them from the streets into accommodation isn't as readily available to us as it has been, uh, which is creating a backlog of people. And that's why the numbers are rising. Last month's formal count found 33 rough sleepers, up from 14 last November and the highest number since records began. And throughout this spring, the outreach team found 162 different people on the streets of Nottingham. We've seen the decommissioning of homelessness prevention services and that's having its impact. We're also seeing more people with more complex needs that are harder to tackle and there are people on the streets who are non-UK nationals who have no recourse to public funds. Put all of that together and you've got a crisis. The responsibility for this lies clearly with central government. Any 48, you know, not... <laughs> Tonight, Framework's calling for urgent government action to help people off the streets and to tackle a growing problem that it's describing as traumatic and dangerous. Well, Jeremy is with us back in the studio. We heard Framework there saying that this is down to government cuts. Has there been any response to that claim? Yeah, we've spoken to the Department for Communities and Local Government. Now, they say nationally they're investing a lot of money to try to tackle this. That includes £140 million over the next four years to help long-term rough sleepers. As well as that, they're spending another £100 million uh, on what's known as move-on accommodation, and that's for people who are currently in shelters or hostels. Jeremy, is Nottingham typical of other cities? It's difficult to make direct comparisons, but Andrew Redfern certainly thinks this is a nationwide problem. I'm told that they've seen some increase in rough sleeping in Leicester as well, and that both cities are currently discussing the need for more emergency beds this coming winter. Mm. OK, Jeremy Ball, thank you.